The following is a presentation of National Speed Sport News. This week on Speed Sport Magazine, we look at the latest in motorcycle safety technology. Up and coming open wheel star Chris Bell pays us a visit and will introduce you to the soft spoken racer who controls this super modified monster. It's time to go green for Speed Sport Magazine. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Speed Sport Magazine. The summer racing season is in full swing, and today we will introduce you to a couple of stars who are making the headlines as well as check out some great two-wheel racing from Road America and Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin. No form of racing will ever be completely safe, but in all forms of racing, technology has allowed safety equipment manufacturers to make great strides in driver and rider safety. For years in the two-wheel racing world, walking away unhurt from a tumble like this mostly was a matter of luck. Technological advances were centered in the area of helmets and head injuries. Now Alpine Stars has devised a system that has turned the focus to the rest of the rider. Alpine Stars started working on electronic, wireless, airbag technology at the beginning of this millennium. Alongside the company's highly visible growth in apparel, footwear, and protection technology for motorcycling, and away from the world's gaze, research into one of the most complex challenges for improving rider safety had commenced. The program was started back in 2001, uh, and by 2003, we were actually on track with John Hopkins initially testing the electronic data loggers and how we were actually sensing the system. Uh, the suits uh, in those days were wired up um, with sensors all over the suit to look at the forces that a rider was suffering and the sort of impact values that we were getting um, when a rider went down. Alpine Stars then approached a group of leading medical consultants to look at how the injuries were caused during the impacts. Computer modeling was then employed to examine the behavior of the shoulder and collarbone structures during an impact, with airbag simulation applied to define the protection parameters. The goal is to minimize the size and weight of the airbag system while offering the rider vital protection against shocks sufficient enough to damage bones and ligaments. Subsequently, we've refined the data logging units. They've become much more powerful. Um, we're able to leave the rider alone all day so that the data can be collected at the end of the day and make sure that there's minimal disruption to the racing program. Uh, and now we're at the stage where our riders are actually riding with an airbag system in place. The, the airbags currently are um, optimized as much as they can to protect shoulders and collarbones and are built within the suits themselves. Um, with the uh, data logging and launch control system uh, actually housed within the hump of the suit. So at under 500 grams, um, they're, uh, they're extremely minimal. They don't cause any disruption to the rider. They don't, the riders don't feel it. But we're, we're looking to offer the best possible protection to an area of the body that suffers the greatest number of injuries while, uh, while racing. Three, two, one. One of the key breakthroughs that Alpine Stars developed while researching the electronic sensing programs was the ability of the system to constantly monitor and analyze the rider's attitude in relation to the ground. The research that we've undertaken on the, on the racetrack is obviously ultimately uh, looking to deliver a system for a wider audience. The airbag itself is powered by a battery pack and is inflated using a nitrogen-based gas mix. The system incorporates two bags covering the rider's shoulders and collarbones. Alpine Star's current racetrack testing configuration allows a trigger to full bag inflation time of less than 0.05 seconds, and the bags are designed to deflate after impact. The ultimate aim will be to offer riders both on track, on the street, and then in the future off-road as well, some sort of active protection system that will, uh, will greatly um, enhance their, uh, their survivability rate from, uh, from injury if they do go down. Another hugely significant step, and one crucial for racing use, was Alpine Star's development of the now patented dual charge system. This state-of-the-art modular innovation has the ability to offer a rider two airbag inflations without needing to reset or recharge the system. 
This significant feature allows Alpine Stars riders to remount after a crash and continue riding, safe in the knowledge that the system will activate again and give them the same level of protection if they go down a second time. Those are exciting systems from Alpine Stars and research is ongoing. The latest system is the only rider airbag that covers the shoulders, full back, torso and hips with a one-piece airbag design. Chris Bell is waiting in the wings to tell us about his latest open-wheeled exploits and later more two-wheeled action, this time from Fame Road America. We'll be right back. Hey, Chris, good to see you, man. Good to see you too, Ralph. Race fans, whether you love dirt, asphalt, two wheels, or four, you need to be speed sport equipped with cool t-shirts, awesome caps, and great speed sport swag. You can get your limited edition merchandise now. Just go to nationalspeedsportnews.com. Click on the store link and start shopping. Throwback tees, shop racks, and everything you need to be ready for the races. That's nationalspeedsportnews.com. Click the store link.